now consider these questions one by one so we have some set of questions we are going to take these questions and find out the solution and all these questions are based on the number systems so the first question is like this given that 16 base 10 is equal to 100 with base b uh, on a given number system then find the value of b you need to find the value of this what is the base of this 100 okay so we first of all how you are going to solve this kind of questions you have to you uh, know convert both these number systems in a similar number for example this is 16 with base 10 so this is uh, already this is in base 10 so either we can convert this number in base 10 or we can uh, equalize them so how you can see this one so this can be written as 16 into 10 raised to power 0 plus 1 into 10 raised to power 1 that is obvious right because in base 10 number system it works like this then we have 100 with base b so 100 with base b can be written as 0 into b raised to power 0 plus 0 into b raised to power 1 plus 1 into b raised to power 2 that is you are going to convert this 100 with base b as a base 10 number system so these numbers will become 16 equal to b square plus 0 plus 0 because any number multiplied by 0 is 0 any number multiplied by 0 is 0 hence so you can say it as b square is equal to 16 therefore b can be written as under root of 16 which is equal to plus minus 4 or in any number system we don't have a negative as the base so we don't have a base with minus 4 so we always have a positive base so you can say the value of b is 4 okay so you can verify this answer here so if you take 100 with base 4 so it can be written as 1 into 4 raised to power 2 plus 0 into 4 raised to power 1 plus 0 into 4 raised to power 0 which is equal to 16 so how it, uh, this is how you can solve this particular question now let us take the next question now consider this question here in this question you can see uh, now consider this question in here in this question you can see what they have given they are giving as 292 with the base 10 is there 292 with base 10 is there uh, is equal to 1024 in some number system and we have to find the base of that number system now you don't know what is the base of 1024 1204 okay so you can write assuming that the base is b so you can return as write it as 292 with base 10 you can return as 1204 with base b therefore if, if you know the base of this one if you know the base of this one then you can convert them to a similar base so this is already given in base 10 so we have to convert this number into base 10 so how you can do it so this can be written as 292 is equal to 4 into b raised to power 0 plus 0 into b raised to power 1 plus 2 into b raised to power 2 plus 1 into b raised to power 3 now 292 can be written as this is 4 plus this is 0 plus this is 2b square plus this is b cube you can take 4 on this side so this can be written as 288 is equal to 2b square plus b cube further you can take b on this side so this equation can become b cube plus 2b square minus 288 is equal to 0 now we have to consider the value of b now there are some few, few shortcuts which you can apply to for considering the value of b because in this given number you can see here in this given number the highest number is 4 because the highest number is 4 the highest symbol is 4 therefore the value of b should be greater than or equal to 5 okay so let us assume let b is equal to 5 if b is equal to 5 then this entire number will become uh, 5q plus 2 into 5 square minus 288 is equal to 0 and 5 cube can be written as 125 plus 2 into 5 square 5 square is 25 so this 125 plus 50 minus 288 is equal to 0 and this entire number is 175 minus 288 is equal to 0 which is not possible hence the value of b cannot be 5 what if the value of b is equal to 6 if the value of b is equal to 6 then this entire number can be written as 6 raised to power 3 plus 2 into 6 square minus 288 is equal to 0 and 6 raised to power 3 is 216 plus 2 into 36 minus 288 is equal to 0 and 216 plus and this 2 into 36 can be written as 72 minus 288 is equal to 0 and which is which is valid hence the base of this number system b is equal to 6 so answer to this question is the base is equal to 6 okay got it now let us move on to the next question and here this is some set of uh, six questions so we are going to solve these questions one by one 
so you can see each of um, each of the following arithmetic operations is correct at in at least one number system determine the possible basis in each of the following operations so the first is a where we are saying 1 2 3 4 plus 5 4 3 2 which is equal to 6 6 6 6 now you can see here uh, this 6 6 6 is is actually here the base should be greater than 7 right base should be greater than 7 then uh, greater than or equal to 7 then only we are going to get 6666 so if you apply any number system whether it is base 8 base 9 base 10 base 11 base 7 or any number system which is greater than base 7 or greater than equal to base 7 then this is valid so this will be valid for uh, if we take the base b here in this entire expression as base b if base b is greater than or equal to 7 then this is valid for anything okay now in the b part is given as 41 divided by 3 is equal to 13 41 divided by 3 is equal to 13 now we need to find the base of this number system so you can also write this expression as 41 is equal to 13 multiplied by 3 and if it is valid okay then the base of this and the base of this should be equivalent so it is 14 41 uh, with base b okay uh, correct so you can also write it like this or there is one more way of writing this entire expression so you can write it as because it is 41 with base b divided by 3 with base b can be written as 13 with base b this is another kind of shortcut either you can solve it like this or you can solve it like this but here because of this multiplication it may become slightly complicated so rather than this i'm solving it like this okay so if it is given as 41 with base b so this can be written as 4 into b raised to power 1 plus 1 into b raised to power 0 divided by 3 into b raised to power 0 can be written as 1 into b raised to power 1 plus 3 into b raised to power 0 which is actually equivalent to because I have actually I have converted this entire number into base 10 and this number into base 10. So this can be written as 4b plus 1 divided by 3 can be written as 1b plus 3. Now because this is in base 10 and this is also in base 10 so you can uh, easily do the operations which we are already familiar with so this can be written as 4b plus 1 can be written as uh, 1b plus 3 multiplied by 3 which can be written as 4b plus 1 is equal to 3b plus 9 correct now you can take 3 on this side so it can be written as 4b minus 3b is equal to 9 minus 1 which is equal to b is equal to 8 Hence, the base of this number system should be equal to 8. So, I think uh, uh, I've got an answer which is correct. So, uh, yes, yeah, so the answer is correct. Now, the next question is C. Here it is given as 33 divided by 3 is equal to 11, and we need to ver verify the base of this number system. Now, we are assuming that base is B. So, this can be written as 33 with base B divided by 3 with base B is equal to 11 with base B and then you can open this bracket so it can be done as 3 into b raised to power 1 b raised to power 1 plus 3 into b raised to power 0 divided by 3 into b raised to power 0 is equal to 1 into b raised to power 1 plus 1 into b raised to power 0 this entire expression can be written as 3b plus 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1b plus 1 okay and uh, you can cut 3 from here so this uh, expression can be written as b plus 1 is equal to b plus 1 okay now here you can see b plus 1 is equal to b plus 1 why we are getting uh, such kind of things because here you can see the base is actually 10 so uh, the largest digit it uh, okay so here fine so if you are getting this kind of numbers uh, actually this will be uh, if you are getting this kind of expression that means uh, uh, you can use any base which is greater than 3 okay so it is valid for any the, val el the value of b because uh, b plus 1 is equal to b plus 1 so both the sides it is equal correct so you can say in this way in this case it is valid for any value which is uh, greater than 3 why greater than 3 because here the highest number is 3 so even if you take a base 4 even if you take a base 5 even if you take a base 6 and so on because the largest value is 3 this entire expression will be valid for that okay so um, this will be valid for any uh, base b is, uh, which is greater than 3 now let us uh, take the next question here in the d part it is given that 23 plus 44 
plus 14 plus 32 plus 223 is equal to 223. So by looking at this entire expression, you can see the base should be actually greater than 4 because the highest number is 4. But still you can convert it. So it, this can be written as 23 with base B plus 44 with base B plus 14 with base B plus 32 with base B is equal to 223 with the base B. So this is 2 into B raised to power 1 plus 3 into B raised to power 0. So next time I am not going to write B raised to power 0 plus this can be written as 4B plus 4 plus this can be written as 1B plus 4 plus this can be written as 3B plus 2 and this entire expression can be written as 2B square plus 2B plus 3. So this is 2B plus 3 plus 4B plus 4 plus B plus 4 plus 3B plus 2 is equal to 2B square plus 2B plus 3. Further 2B plus 4B. 2B plus 4B is 6B. 6B plus B is 7B. 7B plus 3B is 10B. And 10B minus 2B that will be equal to 8B. So we are going to get 8B here plus. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 2 is uh, 13. 13 minus 3 is 10 is equal to 2B square. Correct. So you can also write this entire expression as 2B square minus 8B plus 10 is equal to 0. Now this becomes a quadratic equation and you can solve this quadratic equation to find uh, uh, find the base of this given number. Okay. So uh, what should be the value? So this is written as 2 uh, 2 into 10 is equal to 20. So I think this is a good expression, right? So 2 into 10 is equal to 20. Am I getting the same expression? Uh, yeah, so you can actually uh, you can take 2 as common from this entire expression. So this can be written as b square minus 8 4b b square minus 4b plus 5 is equal to 0 and now it is very easy to solve because you can uh, write it as b square minus uh, correct so this is minus this should be minus 10 not plus 10 this should be minus 10 so this is a slight small mistake here so minus 5 so this can be done as uh, minus 5b plus b minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore you can say uh, if you take b as common so it is b minus 5 plus 1 b minus 5 is equal to 0 so this entire expression can be written as b plus 1 and b minus 5 so that means for this expression the value of b can either be minus 1 or the value of b can be plus 5 and we know minus 1 is not a valid value so b can be greater than plus 5 I, again uh, this value is 4 okay so if b is equal to 5 then this e entire expression is valid now in the next number it is giving as given as 302 with base 20 can be written as 12.1 let us assume the base is b so it is 302 with base b upon 20 with base b is equal to 12.1 with base b and if you expand this so this can be written as 3b square plus 2 divided by 2b uh, is equal to 1b plus 2 uh, plus 1 upon b okay so you can take b in lcm here so this can be written as 3b square plus 2 divided by 2b is equal to uh, b square plus 2b plus 1 divided by b and you can cut b in both the sides so this can be written as 3b square plus 1 is equal to 2b square plus 2b plus 4b plus 2 now you can take b here so this is b and uh, this 4 here so it is minus 4b b square minus 4b and minus 1 is equal to 0 so it is b square minus 4b minus 1 is equal to 0 so here I think this is minus 4 have I done any mistakes so this is b plus 2b correct this is also correct right so uh, now you can find the value of b here and uh, after finding out the value of b you can put it in this expression so what should be the value of b so this expression is actually b square minus 4b minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so 
b square minus 4b minus 1 is it minus 1 so we get b plus 2 plus 1 so this b plus 2 plus 1 upon b correct this is also correct now here 3b square plus 2 divided by 2b okay and this is a b square plus 2b plus 1 divided by b you cancel b so b will come here 2 come will come here 2 will be multiplied with this one 2 will be multiplied with this one correct and then this is b square and then this is minus 1 and then this is minus huh? so this expression is valid i guess now you can find out the roots for this and uh, what will be the roots for this entire expression so minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so this is the formula that we can use and so let me write this entire expression so it is b square minus 4b minus 1 so we are going to get b square minus 4b minus 1 is equal to 0 this is the expression we are getting and b square minus 4b minus 1 so the formula is we have to find b square minus 4ac okay mm what if the value of b is equal to 4 then this is not valid b is equal to 5 is not valid b is equal to 6 if b is equal to 6 then this will be 36 minus 4, 9 it's not valid okay so let us solve the expression again so we are going to get 3b square plus 2 divided by 2b is equal to b plus 2 plus 1 upon b that is the expression that we are getting now solve this entire expression again so this is 3b square plus 2 can be written as b square plus 2b plus 1 and this is divided by 2 so it can be written as 3b square plus 2 can be written as 2b square plus 4b plus 1 and if this subtracted then we get b square and if you take this this side so minus 4b and if you take it this way then it is plus 1 is equal to 0 no this is 2 okay so i got the mistake so this is plus 2 this is 2 and here it is 2 yeah so this is the mistake actually so here this value should not be there so this is plus 0 is equal to 0 so this can be written as b square minus 4b is equal to 0 so if you take b as common so it is b minus 4 is equal to 0 therefore b can be written as 0 or b can be written as 4 so here in this particular case b is equal to 4 is valid so this expression is like this okay so here it will be the value of b will be 4 now in the next case square root that is under root of 4 41 is equal to 5 it is given assuming that the base is b the base is b so this expression can be written as 4 into b raised to power 1 plus 1 into b raised to power 0 under root can be written as 5 so which can be written as 4b plus 1 under root is equal to 5 taking square on the both the sides so it will be written as 4b plus 1 is equal to uh, if you take the square here so it is uh, 25 4b can be written as 25 minus 1 which is equal to 24 and b can be written as 6 that is 24 divided by 4 is 6 so here the answer is 6 okay so you can see i have solved all these questions um, based on these values okay now you can also take further uh, different types of questions here uh, let me take one example from my notebook and uh, assuming that we have the following numbers as given 42 with base 9 is equal to x3 with base y now we need to find the value of x and y okay so how will you find the value of x and y so first of all you need to convert both the numbers into uh, both of the sides into same number system so this can be written as 4 into 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 into 9 raised to power 0 plus x into y raised to power 1 plus 3 into y raised to power 0 okay so which can be written as 36 plus 2 is equal to xy plus 3 and uh, this 36 plus 2 is actually uh, 38 minus 3 is equal to xy which can be written as 35 is equal to xy so this is the equation we are which we are going to get now from this equation you can see uh, what should the relation between x and y first of all the value of y should be greater than 3 
why the value of y should be greater than 3 because here the largest number that already given is 3 now if the value of y is greater than 3 we have to find the value of x such that x into y should be equal to 35 so the value of x multiplied by y should be greater than 35 should be equal to 35 if value of y is greater than 3 then this value should be uh, either x can be 7 and y can be 5 or x can be 5 and y can be 7 if this is given if this is given then this expression is valid okay so for this particular case uh, x if i take x as 7 if i take x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 then this is valid and if i take y is equal to 7 and x is equal to 5 then it's, this is valid okay right so you can find the validity of of this expression using this one correct so i hope this is easy let us take the next question and here in this next question they are saying 123 with base x is equal to 12 x with base 3 then find the value of x convert both the sides into one same number system so it can be written as 3 into x is to power 0 plus 2 into x is to power 1 plus 1 into x is to power 2 can be written as 1 into 3 is to power 2 plus 2 into 3 is to power 1 plus x into 3 is to power 0 so we converted both the sides into one common number system so this can be written as x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 9 plus 6 plus x okay so you can subtract this from here so this can be written as x square plus x plus 3 minus this is 15 is equal to 0 so x square plus x plus uh, minus 12 is equal to 0 so this is the expression which we are going to get now from this expression we need to find the value of uh, x okay so how this expression is valid so we can take let x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 is equal to 0 therefore if i take x then it is x plus 4 minus 3 x plus 4 is equal to 0 and then x plus 4 into x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore the value of x can be 4 or uh, minus 4 or the value of x can be plus 3 okay so hence we don't take minus 4 so we take plus 3 so the uh, value for this number system is uh, the base of this number system is 3 okay so this is the answer for this given question okay so let us uh, take a few more number systems consider uh, some examples based on that